The Celtics tip off against Doc Rivers and the 76ers in just a few hours. I'm Mariah Jonas, joined by Bobby Manning. Uh, Bobby, I want to start with the starting lineup, the big question mark. Who will play the point? Could it be Marcus Smart, do you think? What, what are your thoughts there on this starting lineup? What do you know so far? I think it's going to be Jeff Teague. Uh, with Marcus Smart out there tonight. Now, they're playing a bigger team in Philadelphia, so all of a sudden this matchup stuff's going to come into view. This would be an opportunity where they might throw Grant Williams out there to have more size on the court. You'd have a big backcourt in that case with Marcus Smart and Jalen Brown. But, of course, they're playing without Daniel Tice tonight, so maybe Brad wants to keep Grant as the backup center there with Taco Fall. So I think they're going to go with Robert Williams as the starting center. And Jeff T get that point guard spot next to Smart. Uh, but they'll try out everybody tonight. They're going to do a million different lineups. It's still experiment season, like Steven said, and it's going to be for a while. So starters is just a small question, and that stuff's going to change a ton early this year. Yeah, absolutely. As you mentioned, this is preseason game. We're testing the water, see what works, see what doesn't work. And also, it's a really good time to take a look at the rookies. What is there anything specifically that you're going to be watching out for tonight when looking at these young players? I want to see anything from Aaron Naismith. See, he's been the story of this training camp. It seems like Brad Stevens is pushing for a little bit more from him right now. Of course, he had foot surgery in January, so he's still somewhat in the process of coming back from that. But it doesn't sound like he was in prime basketball shape coming into this camp. Uh, the defense, apparently, from what we're hearing out of camp, isn't the strongest suit for him so far. And if you're going to play for Stevens, you have to defend. That's been the way it's been for all the years here. And that's going to be a test for a guy like that who comes in as an offensive spark, spark plug, a shooter, does he defend enough to get the trust of the coach despite all those things that he does offensively? Pritchard, they love him. Everything you hear about Peyton Pritchard is that he's been great, tenacious, all that kind of stuff. Danny Ainge fell in love with him out of the draft, so there's no doubt that he's going to be looking solid out there. Naismith, I mean, they put a lot in to him at 14. People will be watching to see what he looks like. Yeah, definitely some exciting things to look forward to. This segment is brought to you by Manscaped. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code GARDEN20 at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com using the code GARDEN20. Take the leap and join the Manscaped movement today. Now, we also got a first look Sixers team here. The Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons duo. We got They're back. Doc <laughs> yeah, we got Doc Rivers. Um, so what are, and then obviously the rumors about James Harden, if he ends up joining them, that could be huge for this team as well. Um, but what are you looking for out of this Sixers team tonight? Are they going to look any different? Everybody, they do it every year. They hype up this team and then all of a sudden the two stars don't, they, you know, complement each other the way that they would want to. The shooting issues, they've seemingly addressed those with Seth Curry and Danny Green. But again, I, I think the issue is the core of this team. Do Simmons and Embiid mesh well enough for them to win games, for them to be a great team? And let's not forget last year, it wasn't the offense that was a massive issue for them. Like people thought it might be. Their defense just stunk despite all the potential that they had there. So, they had a good off season. I don't think it was a great one. They still look overall relatively the same to me. So are they going to come out and explode and wow people? They're at home. They were a great home team last year. So they'll probably look solid. There's not a lot of pressure on them here. We'll get to see some of the deaf guys and crew and the rookie they drafted. But they set this preseason up very interestingly for the Celtics between the Sixers and the Nets. Good two teams to look at Boston against early on. Yeah, absolutely. A lot to look forward to tonight. So it's Celtics 76ers, 730 tip off for all of our Celtics coverage. Head to CLNSmedia.com and be sure to watch the Garden Report on our YouTube channel. Oh,